Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about DWAC. Should you buy this stock at $64? I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, concerns, make sure you guys ask them down below. So looking at this stock, you can see it went from this $9 mark right down in here, all the way up to about $175. Now during this time, DWAC, also known as Digital World Acquisition, partnered with Trump media to create a social media site called uh, truth now there's a lot of speculation right in, during that time you know when is this going to get released is it even going to get released and their overall idea behind it was one trump has 80 million voters even if half of them convert and download the app that's 40 million users that are going to be on this site not to mention people think that there could be way more than 40 or even 80 million users. Now, this is why we had this huge run. Everybody wanted to invest in the next Facebook or Twitter, causing shares to skyrocket once people realized, well, okay, it's gonna be a couple of months before we see the app even get released. So shares obviously sold off. And that's kind of what we that's kind of what we saw. Now during this time, it did find some support down in here. At this, you know, $40 mark, it hit it and really has been working its way back up, which is fantastic. Okay. Recently, we've seen a lot of sell off from it where the stock hit about $100 and it's been selling off back down to now at about the $64 mark. So kind of what's going on? Well, there's been a couple of things, right? DWAC um, did merge with TMTG. Now, this is what we call a fundamental catalyst. So anytime a company merges to grow the business, this is gonna get more people interested, more people involved, causing share prices to go up or even down depending on the merger. In this case, we've seen a lot of growth, which is great. Not to mention, guys, um, Truth or the Truth Social, whatever you guys wanna call it, is on track to, to reach 1 million users in a shorter period than sites like uh, Facebook or even Twitter have seen. So they're growing at a pretty decent rate answering that main question of should you buy this app? I definitely think, yes, this this carries a ton of potential. Um, it's gonna be, you know, it could be a stock that competes with Facebook, it competes with Twitter, but at the end of the day, it's very, very speculative at its current stage. Meaning, if we buy in at $64, this stock could easily fall back down to 40 or even $20 before we see 180. The, the speculation is very high, which causes a higher risk, higher reward when you purchase it. Me personally, I definitely think a great strategy for investing in DWAC is a couple ways. The very first ways would be to set an alert at this $40 mark. We understand that this is gonna be heavy support given that if the stock does sell off, you're buying at a, at a spot where we've seen tendencies to get a lot of buying pressure, which would represent a great opportunity. So me, I would look at setting, setting some alerts down at this $40 mark. If you don't wanna do that and you want to get in, the strategy that I would recommend would be dollar cost averaging. The reason why I say that is yes, we do have this beautiful upward trend, right? Which is great. Anytime you invest in a stock that's going, has that upward trend, that that's very, very good. Um, just because you will have tendencies to see more buying pressure than selling pressure. But it's very hard to determine if a stock's overvalued or even undervalued in this certain case. So what I, what I do is I figure out a certain amount that I want to invest in this stock, whether it's you know 1% of your portfolio or $1,000. So what you do is instead of putting up that $1,000 all up front and having DWAC continue to sell off, and next thing you know, the stock's at $40, what you're gonna do is you're gonna invest $100 a week or even $10 a week over the next 10 months or even 100 weeks, whatever whatever that time time frame may be. So what this is gonna do is if that's just a we have, you know, continue sell off where that short term trend continues to sell off, what you're doing is you're averaging down your your shares. So once the stock recovers, just like we've seen on that great upward trend, you're gonna be making a lot more money because your average cost for your shares is very, very low. Now, like I said, DWAC high risk, high reward play. Me personally, I am dollar cost averaging it with about one to 2% of my portfolio. So what that means is for every $100 I have invested into other stocks 
other ETFs, other assets. I'm investing a dollar or two dollars in the DWAC dollar cost averaging. So if that just say DWAC goes out of business, I'm only out one or two percent of my of my portfolio, which at the end of the day, yeah, it's some money, but it's not going to be as nearly significant if it's 10, 20, 30 percent of your portfolio. Number two, if that just say this thing turns around and hits five hundred or a thousand dollars a share. I still have shares that are going to outweigh the cost of 1% or 2%. So you're still going to be making a ton of money given the high high risk, high reward. That's kind of my strategy, my mindset with this stock, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. We will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive and uh, stay safe out there. Take care.